I'm going to do a quick tutorial on finding your Echo Capture links in Blackboard. This pertains both to Classroom Capture with Echo and with Personal Capture. So the Classroom Captures that are done with Echo are the ones in the ILC and the Norco building. Uh, also SMTC 118. So to find your captures on Blackboard, you will need to go to your Blackboard page obviously. We'll go to that right now and um, go over to the left hand side of the page to the little blue tabs and I'm sure you all have um, a lot of these course information, staff information, discussion board, course documents, etc. And at the very bottom, it's usually the bottom one, you'll find Echo Center. Now this won't be here before you do your first capture and you do not have to create this tab. This will automatically be created after you publish your first lecture capture. So if we go to this bottom one, Echo Center, it will take us to a little calendar of the weeks of the semester. And if we click on each, each week, we can see that there is a capture here. And if I click again, it gives me some options, either to launch the Echo, which is the rich media streaming product that most people use, or to download either the audio podcast or the video podcast. So the video podcast, just as a reminder, has a screen scrape of whatever's on the projector, be it a PowerPoint slide, a browser window, the document camera, whatever. So it just doesn't have the video camera picture of you. And your students can also access these two, these two podcast versions through iTunes U if you participate in the iTunes U program, which not all of you do. So that's how you will find your links in Blackboard pretty simple. And so now that I still have you, I'm going to go back and remind you about how you also get an automatically generated email message with each capture that you publish. So if you've forgotten that, let's go to email. And when you get a capture published, you will get an automatically generated message such as this one saying echo available. And um, you'll notice that it gives me the links to all three products, the rich media streaming product, the video podcast, and the audio podcast. And I can just click on those, or it gives me a link to, to the Echo Center course portal, which would allow your students to see multiple cam uh, classes that they're enrolled in that utilize Echo Capture. So that's all for today. There is a separate tutorial on um, finding links in iTunes U and how your students can download those podcasts. So please check that out if you're interested in that. Thanks for your attention and take care.